everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a recap of the Art Beats event put on by Osmosis, which happened on November 19th. This is the wonderful Lennox Coke, exhibiting some of his really vibrant paintings. If you're interested in any of the artists that you see in this video, please comment below. This right here is Steve Cunningham. Steve is typically very detailed in his work and he loves to depict sceneries, the mother and child bond, and flowers and birds. From time to time, you'll see a few abstract pieces in his repertoire. I'm pretty sure that Inancy and I were showing her pieces at the Ligony Art Fest together, but I didn't get to talk to her then since I was busy at my stall and I didn't see her this night. And this is Eugene Campbell. Errol Walker is one of the OGs in the painting world. He doesn't have a social media presence, but he is at a lot of the major shows. He's helped a lot of artists to progress and I love his art style. What were you saying about your art? No, I was saying most of it is one solid piece. As apart from few like this, they go on, the clothes are put on different to get it to old space, the delicacy of it and so on, you know? And to the, in order to get under everything that is can come out looking more realistic, the flowers are put on. Everything is one solid. What type of wood is this? It's all cedar. Cedar? And who is this beautiful young woman here? Uh, just randomly, you know, just, it's just part of a picture of you. So I couldn't tell you who she is. But the idea is just to show that um, I'm able to do a portrait in you. She is gorgeous. She's absolutely impressive. It's like you have it here again with the teeth and face. So what happened to your ease? Oh, there she is. That's your evil. The artist and the last thing was to be fierce, getting people to say, you know And what makes it worse, the, the fact that I'm so very shy already, you know, I kind of stay away from too much people. So, you don't seem shy when you talk about your story. <laughs> well, um, it's me and it's, it helped me to get out because. Doing this, I have to talk with people, you know, so I can't get away from it, you know. I go where by the work, can't be, I go, but as I get a chance, I'll run away and steal far away, everything, okay? So you won't find me standing here most of the time, you know? <laughs> so this piece right here, I call her Eve because she kind of looks like she's in the garden of Eve. What do you call her? I don't, I don't speak to you know, I just, I just kind of like inspire and work. So that is after it finish and it probably just, but when I'm more than one, I have to put the place that they remember it. I just call it the breadfruit lady. The breadfruit lady. <laughs> yeah. That's the way they know that it's easy, you know? I wonder what everybody would call them because you know everybody has a different interpretation. Yes, and sometimes, sometimes people at the names of them because like, people see them and so on and looking at it, and the name does come yeah. up right from the table, and that's how sometimes I mean it's not good, you know? Perfect. And that piece is paper, too, which is popular. Oh. All these are working, and it's paper. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget to bring the mics, but I hope the captions help. I love his work, it's so detailed and the fact that he uses fabric paint to get these lovely colors on the wood is just so cool. But on to Leonia McCoy. You know, you don't want to have all of that struggle coming out. However, I can't help you coming out because if you help it, you basically kill it. Right. The wings are so crumpled and just. Oh. 
and then when all of that pumping and pushing, so you know, life has a lot of struggles, a lot of ups and downs and stuff. But butterfly gives me hope. At the end of it, you will fly. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's wonderfully crafted. I've always been fascinated by ceramics, and I think that's the next thing I'm going to try in the new year. This is Anthony James, and he was an apprentice of Errol Walker. The two live pretty close by, so he was able to gain a lot of knowledge from Errol. And here he is exhibiting some of his work. He's also an apiculturist, so he has his own honey for sale. Um, stick figures kind of thing and it evolved into pregnant. So it's um, Bantu girl and Masai man. It kind of looks like those fashion drawings as well. Yeah, Masai man. Coyote Bennett. Good youth. I met him last year at the Jamaican Potters Association Craft Fair, which I'm actually going back to um, actually tomorrow, Saturday, December 9th. Not to derail this video, but Potters is what really got me into art vlogging, so I'm excited to see what this year has to bring. One thing I notice about artists is that they're not necessarily people persons, they're not exactly extroverted. I mean, some are, I am, but for the majority, they tend to be on the shire side, which is so fascinating because, you know, it's the type of work where you have to be in front of people and you have to be okay with showing yourself and your work. This next artist is Wazari Johnson. What I'm noticing is that a lot of your pieces have red or green. Yeah. And, and what is that? Are those your favorite colors? Well, to a, to a degree, I know red is my all-time favorite color. Yeah. Green is okay, but I really love red. But my work um, emphasizes color theory. You know, yeah, like evoking moods and um, primarily the psychology behind color. Yeah, so when I came into the space in 2001, the spectrum of colors in ceramics was beige, cobalt, blue, and whites, and so on. But um, my favorite class at Edna Manley was color theory with Mike Stanley. Yeah, so I really decided to explore color with ceramics. And um, I also, I'm, I'm inspired by fashion and everyday life. So I try to incorporate these principles in my work, you know. So, um, again, um, I, I really play with colors a lot, using analogous colors, complementary colors, and, you know, create balance visually with the colors. But I've also noticed that you like sea Yes. Well, um, when I went to Edna Manley, I went there to be a, 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 an illustrator. And I never stuck to the illustration, but I love drawing from childhood. So recently I started a series using the illustrative ability, but incorporating it in clay. And, you know, it was just an outlet to start drawing again, because I wasn't drawing for years. So I decided to just do this, this um, aquatic series, because I like sea life. You know, I'm a swimmer, so I, I like to to explore underwater life and so on. So I, I decided to just use clay as a medium to tell stories about aquatic life. So for like example, this one right here, you see this red vase and also this one right here? Yeah. It seems like an item that you would find in a family home. You know, um, a family where maybe generations have, you know, grown up. Yeah. I kind of feel that nurturing about the species um, but she is the only one I see like the only portrait yes so um, she is the first of a series that I'm working on I'm exploring the female faces you can say that I'm very interested in faces you know yeah 
faces tell a story and so on. So this is the first of many to come, hopefully. Yeah, so I like exploring different themes. I get bored easily, so yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of sad I never got to speak to this artist either because green is my favorite color and he has so much green in his work and his name wasn't really up there but here's a close-up of his work and his work was right beside Sean Reed's table Sean also wasn't standing near his work I was really surprised that a lot of these artists weren't staying by their work which I would highly recommend doing especially if you want to sell your work you don't want a potential buyer to have to search for you. And I mean, for some time they were away from their tables. So learn from this, stay by your work. You never know who's ready to buy your work. I'm not sure whose work this is either. I would have loved to speak to this artist, but here's some wise words from Craig from the lot. I don't know. One phrase I tell you. Fairness and integrity in everything that you do. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow for more.